now my privilege to present the gavel of the United States House of Representatives to the first woman speaker in our history, the General Lady from California, Nancy Pelosi. will depend on how this um, uh, penalty will be perceived. I think it's a very stern and strict penalty. A reprimand is an, a, a major embarrassment to the Speaker of the House of Representatives. Being here today, um, I'm going to be uh, very brief because I think there are going to be some very powerful... ...and before the tank was not only a great icon of what happened in Tiananmen Square at that time, Hopefully he will be a role model for the President of the United States, that our President will be as courageous as that young man, that our President will be as courageous as those who erected the statue to the goddess of democracy in Tiananmen Square. Those young people echoed the words of Thomas Jefferson and of our founding fathers. Courage, serving in the Congress of the United States. We need her back with a nice, strong victory come next Tuesday. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I heard the president say, I deserve to be the speaker. I don't think anybody deserves anything. It's not about what you have done. It's what you can do. What you have done in the past speaks to your credentials, but it's about what you can do. And I think I'm the best person to go forward. Donald's right. I agree with him. Putin. Donald's right. I agree with him. Putin. Imagine that is the comment of Vladimir Putin on the actions taken by the President of the United States in relationship to Syria. And Good afternoon, everyone. We have given the Republicans a chance to take yes for an answer. We have taken their proposals unamended by any House bipartisan uh, amendments, but, but just staying true to what the Senate has already 